his hand and well oh, oh wait things did not go as they planned there was no reason how disrespectful hey maybe they shouldn't have taken the bait right and it's all about trying to embarrass this superstar's opponent in the early going after a shotgun attack during the entrances this match has found its way inside the ring at last now we can really get things started this match is a power keg, ready to blow. Emotions are running very high between these superstars. Well, that's one explanation for the unchecked violence we witnessed before the bell. Power bomb! Ooh. A knee right to the face. Nightart's face has taken about all it can take. Timely counter by Anvil. Jim the Anvil Nightheart strike hits the mark. Lighten up the chest, and now straight to the knee. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. Oh, what a clothesline! Corey, Jim Neidhart is a multi-time tag team champion. How should he go about getting the victory on his own? Well, it's true. The Anvil has had most of his success as part of a tag team, but he's also a ferocious singles competitor. He's freakishly strong and surprisingly fast, so he should put himself in a position to overwhelm his opponent. Inflicting oh. more damage to the leg. Very measured elbow drop. Closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Crank in the head, and the anvil has become possessed. The anvil showing his single skills using strength and speed to overwhelm the opposition. Knee right to the gut. He's getting pushed out into the defense. Maybe not. And easily kicks out of the count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. <laughs> He's got him scouted. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars were actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. Boom! Oh, and a knee! And another! Just unloading knees to the body. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Slips out of the way. Drop suplex. Delivers the knee. Elbow drop. Piercing. Very measured elbow drop. Uh-oh. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Suplex, oh. here it comes. Nicely done. Look at this! Somersault plunge out of the floor. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Whip back into the ring. He went right into that turnbuckle. Solid connection. Things went from bad to worse. Boom. Oh. Looking for a high risk, high reward. Up high. You gotta be kidding me. What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line.
capped off with a knee to the spine. He's finding himself in trouble here. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Springboard elbow! He's going for the pin. This could be it! No, stops the count at two. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Showing they've done their homework. He gets back into the ring. Driven down. For the win. Two. It is enough. Finally, it's over. Here is your winner. Tim Hogan. They refuse to let the disrespect get to them, and now they are standing tall. Definitely kept their head clear in this one. Now can we stop whining about respect?